Well, I think we're doing pretty well. Exports are at an all-time high, $2.3 trillion a year. Uh, it's added 1.6 million export-related jobs uh, to our economy uh, over the last four years. And those jobs pay 13 to 18% more on average than non-export-related jobs. So it's a way of increasing wages, dealing with wage inequality, uh, while at the same time creating new jobs and expanding our economy. Uh, so I think we're doing pretty well, but we have a lot, and there's a lot of opportunity outside of our, our country with 95% of the world's consumers outside of our country and in fast growing regions of the world. But that means we've got to stay very much engaged, be on the field and being actively working to define the rules of the road and to open markets. Our market is already quite open. You know, we have an average tariff of about one and a half percent. We don't use regulations as a disguised barrier to trade. But that's not true necessarily around the world. And so through these trade agreements, we're actually uh, reducing barriers disproportionately, which helps grow our exports and support more jobs here at home. Well, there are a lot of factors that contribute to uh, the trade balance, and the most important of which are really the macroeconomic factors and the differing growth rates. The fact that we're growing faster than a lot of parts of the world means that we're sucking in more imports, that our consumers are buying more things, and that's always been historically true. But when you actually take a step back, our trade deficit as a percentage of our, uh, of our GDP has basically been cut in half over the last 12 years or so. You know, it's now around 3% or so of our global, of our, of our, uh, uh, of our GDP when it used to be upwards of, of 5 or 6%. So as a share of our economy, it's going down. And when you look at our free trade partners, if you look at all of our FTAs together, we have a surplus. We have a surplus in manufacturing, in services, and in agriculture. Most of our trade deficit is really with countries with whom we don't have a trade agreement. And so through these trade agreements, we open up these opportunities disproportionately for our exports, and it helps our trade balance. Well, on TTIP, uh, we have a number of, of areas where we need to work, and they include traditional trade barriers like tariffs and, and traditional non-tariff barriers, but also, very importantly, the regulatory and standards area, where we're trying to do something new with the European Union that we can't do really with anybody else, because we're both high-wage, well-regulated, advanced industrialized markets. We have a real opportunity to see if we can bridge the divergences in our standards and our regulation without lowering the level of environmental health or safety protection. Well, it's a critical pillar of, of the rebalancing uh, strategy, perhaps the most concrete manifestation of our rebalancing strategy. And that's one reason we have partners around the region who desperately want us to be involved with them, to be embedded in a strong trade and economic relationship with them, because they see the strategic benefits of us as a Pacific power being active and being engaged in the region. And the benefits not only economically, but the spillover benefits into other parts of the relationship, which have strategic implications. Well, we're gonna, we want to finish uh, TPP and, and get it through Congress. We want to finish TTIP uh, as well and, and uh, move that along as far as we possibly uh, can. We'd like to see AGOA, which is the African Growth and Opportunity Act, as well as GSP, our Generalized Systems of Preferences, renewed uh, by Congress. We have various negotiations going on at the WTO on information technology products. We are hoping that gets uh, 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 finalized really in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, the implementation of the Trade Facilitation Agreement, uh, the completion of the Trade and Services Agreement, and the Environmental Goods Agreement. Uh, so we have a lot, and then we have bilateral issues, uh, whether it's the Bilateral Investment Treaty with, uh, with China, uh, or deepening our relationship with countries like India and Brazil. So we have a lot on our, a lot on our plate, uh, but we are uh, optimistic about getting them done.